What I need first is a hoop. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Doug. And I need four bits of ribbon so I can tie our Big Garden Mobile up. All right, and you'll need some tin foil or some strips of paper so you can decorate the top. And then just fold and scrunch around the hoop. And whilst I finish this off, you can do some more making with Mr. Maker. Mr. Maker. Mr. Maker. Great to see you again. Let's see what the weather's like today. I can't wait to get outside. <laughs> oh no, what a horrible storm. Oh, I wish I was somewhere nice and hot and sunny. I'd love to go to a magical holiday island where there was lots of ice cream, sunshine, and fresh coconuts from the trees. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> what a wonderful dream, eh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, though. We don't have to dream. We can make the sand, the sunshine and the magical island come to us. I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a terrific tropical picture using sand and gloopy glue. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! Come on! Some food colouring and a spoon. Some gloopy PVA glue and a pen. And some thick card. Ooh. Now we'll also need some play sand, which you can get from a toy shop, and some icing bags, which you can get from a supermarket. I'll be back in two ticks. <laughs> I've got them. Here we go. There's my icing bag. I'm going to put that there. And here's the play sand. I'm going to put that down nice and safe. Now I've got plans for those later. But for now, take a look at this brilliant sand picture. It's amazing. And to make it, we need to separate our sand into four separate bowls that look a bit like this. Now, into each bowl, we need to put two cups of sand. One, two, and do the same in the other bowls. Now we're going to add some food colouring to each bowl. Now you can choose whatever colours you like. But I'm going to add yellow, blue, green, and I'm also going to mix up brown by adding a bit of green and a bit of red. Now remember, the more food colouring you add, the stronger your colour will be. Now we're going to add gloopy glue to each bowl. <laughs> now we can start mixing. You need to make sure your mixture will squeeze through an icing bag, but don't make it too runny. There. Now we're going to scoop sand from each bowl into an icing bag. Now, if you find this tricky, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Make sure you use a different bag for each colour. There we go. Now we need to draw a picture on some coloured card. Now, this blue card will make a nice sky for our tropical island. Now, let's colour it in. 
use the yellow icing bag to colour in the island and the sun. <laughs> Gently squeeze out the mixture to fill in your picture. <laughs> Again, if you find this tricky, ask an adult to help you. Now use the brown sandy mixture to fill in the trunk and the coconuts. We can use the blue mixture to colour in the sea. <laughs> And lastly, the green sandy mixture we can use for the leaves on the palm tree. <laughs> and look, it's all done. Now all we need to do is leave it to dry overnight. Night! <laughs> <laughs> Morning! Hey! And when it's dry, it'll be nice and hard like this. It's a terrific tropical island made out of sand. But you don't just have to make an island. Oh, no! How about making a red and black crab on yellow sand? Or even a magical purple and pink castle on glittery grass? Fantastic! Why don't you try it? <laughs> Oh, no, it's still raining outside. Ow. Oh, well, at least it's not raining in here. <laughs> oh, 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 no, not again. Oh, 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 no, it's raining coconuts. Oh, ow, no, no, stop it. Oh, oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh. The shapes will sleep through anything. Let's wake them up. I am a circle. What do you think the triangles are making? Can you guess? It's a rhinoceros! Well done, triangle! Time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> <laughs> That was a tricky puzzle today. Those shapes are really clever, you know. Hockey here! Minute mate time! Hey, hey, hey! It's minute mate time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A beautiful badge card. And to make a badge card, you will need a circle of card, a peg, a rectangle of card, some glue, a pair of scissors, some glitter, and some coloured stickers. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Really, Toki? Well, I think I can do it. I will have to be quick, though, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Stop the clock! There we go. Right, let's get our circle of card and glue it onto our peg. Let's put plenty of glue on, there we go. And then stick it on there, like that. Now, Toki, pick a number. Number one! Number one, right, OK. I'm going to bring a tray in and then draw a number one with my gloopy glue pot. There we go, there's a number one. And then get some glitter and put glitter all over, like that. There we go, and shake it all over. And then if I shake it off, only the number one We'll stay. Halfway. Halfway. Goodness me. Right. I better get this rectangle of card and fold it in half like that and then make two snips at the top here and here. I'm going to fold that strip back 
and that's going to help us pin on our badge. That's looking great. Now I can just stick on some stickers to the side like that and try and get as many as I can on. There we go. I think I can get one more on up there. I did it! That was close! That was close, Toki, you're right! But I made the badge card, and the best thing about it is that once you've sent it to someone, they can wear the badge as well! <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of badge cards! This one has a different number! And this one is a really big badge card! Badge cards made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stick the circle of card to the peg. Write a number in glue on the card. Cover it with glitter and shake it off to reveal a glittery number. Fold the rectangle of card in half and cut two slits to make a flap. Fold it back to make a slot. Slide the peg into the slot and add some stickers to finish your badge card. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? We're here, Mr Maker! Oh, hello, everyone. Watch this! I wonder what they're up to. I am red. I'm light blue. I'm purple. I am orange. I'm yellow. I am green. I am black. Well done, everybody. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now, take a look at this. What a great picture of a kite. It's very easy to do and looks so good, you'll be able to frame it. You will need some white paper, scissors, a glue stick, a black pen and different coloured tissue paper. Tear some long strips of green and yellow tissue paper. Glue them to the bottom of the paper like this to make grass. Then draw a kite shape on some more tissue paper. And cut it out. Glue the kite in the sky and decorate it by gluing on different coloured triangles. Now, with a black pen, draw someone flying the kite. Don't forget to draw the kite string. Finally, cut long, thin strips of tissue paper to make your kite tail. Glue them down like this so it looks like the kite is blowing in the wind. What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go? And then... Frame it! Isn't that a great effect? Now, what's going on here? Aye, aye, me hearties! My name is Captain Baker! <laughs> Not really! It's me! <laughs> I was just trying on one of my fancy dress hats. Did I fool you? Oh, no. Oh. Well, never mind. Have a look at the rest of my hat. I can pretend to be... a prince! Bring me my jewels! Ooh, very nice! Or I could pretend to be... a chef! <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. I think I've just cooked up a fantastic idea. Let's make something! Why not make a delicious-looking pretend pizza? Tasty. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> Two pieces of cardboard, an old newspaper and a pencil. Some sticky tape and some gloopy PVA glue. 
a large plate and some tissue paper. <laughs> and some paint. Whoa! Hey, now to make your very own pretend pizza, like this one here, you need to start with a nice piece of large cardboard like this. And we're going to make the pizza base. So let's draw around something that's round like this plate. That should give us a nice circle shape, which is our pizza base. Now we're going to cut this out, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Ooh. <laughs> now this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Next, we're going to make the pizza's crust. That's this bit around the edge here. And for that, we need a sheet of newspaper. And we're going to roll it up like this. And then twist it like this. <laughs> there we go. Then we're going to bring our base back in and bend and stick it around the edge to make the crust like this. Now, as you can see, you're going to need more than one piece of newspaper to make sure that your crust fits all the way around your circle shape. Let's stick it on. There's the pizza's crust. But now it's time for the tasty toppings. Oh, you can put whatever toppings you like on your pizza. How about pepperoni slices? So let's get another piece of card like this. And once again, draw around something that's round, like this roll of sticky tape. And how about we also draw some oval olives? Oh, yes, very tasty. You can even add some pieces of ham and green peppers, which are just strips of card and squares of card. Now very carefully cut all of your pieces out. Once you've cut out lots of toppings, use gloopy glue to stick them onto your pizza base. Now we need to make a special gloopy mixture that's half gloopy glue and half water. Let's give it a mix. And spread this gloopy mixture all over the pizza. <laughs> now we can add a layer of ripped up pieces of tissue paper on top. Now this doesn't have to be neat. And when you've finished, you can even add another layer of the gloopy mixture to make sure it's all stuck down. When it's dry, all that's left to do is paint it. Start by painting the pizza crust first, which is a light brown colour. Then add red paint for the tomato sauce and some yellow on top for cheese. Last of all, paint your tasty toppings. Let's get painting. Remember to start with the brown crust. And there you have it, your very own pretend pizza. But you don't just have to stop there. You can make all sorts of pizzas, adding lots and lots of lovely toppings. This is a ham and pineapple pizza. It's made by using different sized chunks of yellow and pink painted cardboard. Or why not try making just a slice of mushroom pizza? Even the pieces of mushroom are made from cardboard. So why don't you try making a pretend pizza and become a chef like me? <laughs> time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Nuzzle and Scratch. Alpacas on a mission. A mission to help. Whether you need it oh, or not, they are... Hooves for Hire! Give me some hoofness. 
<laughs> Ready for anything. <laughs> Quick. I've got some pants on my head. No job is too easy. Oh, no, the carrot. Alpaca in distress. Oh, here's an alpaca in distress. <laughs> Fun-packed alpacas. <laughs> Are you ready for nozzle and scratch? Weekends at 10.50 on a CBB screen near you. <laughs> nozzle and scratch. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's almost everything you ever wanted to know about Andy. Let's hear it for Andy, everyone. Andy is an amazing six foot four inches tall, even when he's upside down. But which CBB's character is he pretending to be? Here's another clue. Yes, it's our very own superhero, Sporticus, from Lazy Town. But Sporticus isn't the only one with special talents on CBBs. Just look at Andy's rolling tongue trick. Well done, Andy!